Hi, it's Jennifer from Happiness is Homemade 4 and welcome to my channel. Okay, today we are going to make a candy corn wreath using the little witch's hat from Dollar Tree. I love working with these witch hats. Um, so we're gonna use one of these. Right now I have two of the white, I have two yellow, and I have two orange, all from Dollar Tree. I'm not exactly sure how many we're gonna use just yet. By the time we're done though, you will know exactly. So, so I've got these. I also have white pipe cleaners from Dollar Tree, but you can get these anywhere. Walmart, Hobby Lobby, Dollar General, anywhere. So I just got the white ones of these. I have a ruler. Um, I've got my good sharp scissors. I've got some wire cutters, just little clippers. And then I also, I like to use zip ties. I do not do a lot of hot gluing when I make a wreath, so I either use pipe cleaners or zip ties. So, okay. <laughs> so, all right, first off, cut all your tags off. Okay. <laughs> and I know some of you really like it. I apologize once again, the windows are open. It's like beautiful, sunny. It's like 58 degrees outside. I mean, it's a little chilly. So I've got the windows open and my wind chime is going crazy, which I love it though. It's like it's singing to me, but okay. So take this and all you're gonna do for your hat is just find one of the pieces and you're just gonna start unraveling it. I take all of mine off. Now, if you wanna keep this, Now, if you want to keep that later for like a different project or something, you just put it to the side. But all I do, I just unwind it. I take everything off of mine. Basically, you just zigzag back and forth. And once again, you can save all of this for a different project. Okay, there's that. I'm going to take everything off the bottom too. See, I'm just, <laughs> I'm just going back and forth, just taking everything off. Okay, so that is completely clear now. All right, now what I do, I take my wire cutters and I clip all of these little edges off. I do not want those on mine. So. I'm going to adjust the camera so you can see exactly what I'm doing. Okay, so you can see exactly what I'm doing. I'm just gonna take my wire cutters on the, the back, the flat side. I just take it, I'm gonna hold this upside down in my left hand because I'm right-handed. And I'm just gonna go right against the plastic, the ring, and I'm just gonna cut that off. See, and that just falls right off. See? So I'm just gonna continue to cut all of these off. And you just kind of go around and you just clip them. They come off really easy. <laughs> just flew across the room. <laughs> all right. it, there goes another one. <laughs> okay, so now I've got that whole side right there cut. Now instead of me trying to do this, I'm gonna turn mine upside down. That way these spikes are on this side also. Okay, so I'm just gonna turn this to however best it's easier for you to hold and cut. And then just continue to cut all of these little pegs off. You kind of see on this one, I'm kind of holding my clippers vertical. Okay, so now both sides are completely clear. I've cut all of those little pegs off. Now, I'm gonna do the same thing around the bottom, the edges. So once again, I'm just gonna hold it in my hand and have whatever angle is best for you to hold it and then just cut them off. Like I said, you know, whatever works best for you is how you wanna, wanna hold it and do it. Okay. 
So I've got all around the bottom and going up. Now, I'm just gonna cut these few right here off on those sides. Okay. So once again, just hold it however it's easier for you. And I'm just gonna cut these three off right here. Okay, and now I'm gonna cut these three. Now, all these right here, I just leave those. Don't, you don't have to worry about cutting those off. But, so now, this is completely clear. There's no little pegs, little spikes, whatever, sticking out. So, okay, so this is ready to wrap. Okay, so this is gonna be candy cord. So the top of mine's gonna be white, the middle will be orange, and the bottom will be yellow. Now, if you wanted, you could take this outside and give it a quick coat of white spray paint or you could just maybe brush you on some white paint. But I think I'm gonna wrap it so many times you're not gonna see this black. So that's just an option for you if you wanna like spray this white. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my mesh, I'm gonna fold it over. Just completely, just fold it over in half. Okay, and then I'm gonna hold this. I'm gonna put the part where it is folded, the solid part up here, right to the top. I'm gonna bend that over to the back. See, I'm just kind of pinching, just covering the front and the back. And I'm gonna take me, I'm gonna take my zip tie, and then I'm just gonna push it through, just kind of like right here, where that little bar is, just right in the center. Okay. I'm gonna push that through. And I'm just, now I'm just gonna zip tie it into place. So I got that. Now I'm gonna cut this big long tail off. Okay. Okay, now don't worry, because you're not gonna see this. Okay, you see how it's like right there? All I'm gonna do now is just push it towards like the back. So see, it's just completely just pushed right here in the middle. It's completely flat now, like you don't even feel it. So now that I have it folded over in half, and now I'm just gonna twist it. Put that in there. Now I'm just gonna completely twist it around here several times. I'm just holding, I'm holding this steel and I'm just twitching, twitching. <laughs> I'm just twisting the witch hat in my hands as I'm holding this steel. So, but I'm just, like I said, I'm just gonna kind of keep looping it just right over top of each other. Just so you, I don't see that black wire. I'm gonna come back down. Like I said, all I'm doing is just holding this tight and just twisting the hat in my hand. Okay, now to me, that is good right there. There was the, there's that bar. There's like the crossbar right there. I kind of pretty much just went to this, just below it a tad bit. I'm gonna pull that over and once again, Okay, right here where I'm holding it together, I'm just gonna go through the front. Just gonna work your way in. Okay, I'm gonna pull this around towards the back. All right, and now I'm going to zip tie it in place. All right, that is secure. That's not going anywhere. All right, so I'm gonna cut that tie off. So now I'm gonna take my scissors and I'm gonna cut off what I'm not using. I'm just gonna cut that off, set it to the side. So now it's looking like this. There's the, the top white. Okay, you see that's the back side. Once again, I'm gonna twist that towards the, the inside. So now that feels completely flat. Like you don't even notice this sticking up. Now, I'm gonna get my orange. Okay, same thing. Get my orange. I'm going to fold it over in half once again. Just take it and just fold it right in half. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is take my orange. Now see where it's kind of white, the sheer right there? 
I'm just gonna lay my orange right on top of that white. Okay, now I'm gonna pull it around towards the back. And once again, I'm gonna take a pipe, what is this called, a zip tie. I'm gonna go right on the back of it. Okay, this is the outside bar. I'm gonna push that through. Okay. I'm going to zip tie this one into place. I'm telling you, with zip ties, this isn't going anywhere. <laughs> this is good and secure. No worries about being on your front porch. Okay, so now cut that off. Okay, you see how that's sticking up? You see that sideways? I'm just gonna take it and I'm just gonna push it into the inside of the, see? Now this is completely flat. It's smooth. Okay, so now, while I have this folded in half, I'm once again just gonna pull it snug and I'm just going to twist the hat in my hand. And I'm just gonna you know, wrap it around the same spot, you know, probably three times, three or four times. You'll kind of see yourself. Like I said, if you go ahead and spray paint yours, you won't even notice. Okay. So like I guess I'm just holding this tight in my hand, just this mesh, and I'm just twisting the hat. This is going to be so cute. <laughs> All right. I'm just going to, you know, like I said, just kind of keep looping over it. Just quit, quit. Keep twisting. And just make sure, like I said, that you have it nice and snug. Okay. So I've got it about right there. See, I'm not quite down to that bar just yet. So I'm just going to kind of twist this one around again. I'm going to come to the end. And once again, I'm going to put me a zip tie right here on this edge. Okay, so I, as I hold this tight in my hand, I'm gonna take my zip tie, I'm gonna go just right, see, there's the bar. I'm gonna take that zip tie, I'm gonna push it right in there. Okay, so from the back side, I'm just gonna push it through and it comes out the front. Okay. I'm gonna zip this, lock it into place. Okay, so, okay, so I'm just gonna push that into the back of the, of the wreath, okay? See, once again, it's nice and flat, okay? I'm just gonna take my scissors, and I'm gonna cut off kind of a, a tail, see? And then this is gonna be wrapped and covered in the yellow. Okay, so now I've got the yellow. And I'm just gonna do this exact same thing. Take this, just fold it in half. Just completely in half. It just makes it thicker. Kind of gives it a little extra layer. Okay, so here's the front. I'm just going to come up on my orange a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna fold some over, just like that. And once again, I'm going to use a zip tie to hold this into place for me. Okay, I go through the front, come out the back. Like that. Lock it into place. Cut off my tail. Okay. Now once again, push that into the back side of your wreath. Okay, see this is the back side of it, so just push it into the back side. All right, once again, while it's folded over in half, I'm just going to twist. So I'm gonna come up on some of my orange so everything just blends it together. Okay, so I'm gonna come up on my orange and now I'm just gonna start twisting around. Okay, so once again, I'm just gonna hold it in my right hand and I'm just going to twist this wreath and while I'm pulling this snug, I'm just going to keep twisting the hat in my other hand. Cool. <laughs> Do you see how cute it already looks? <laughs> All right. So, I got it, I'm gonna go around one more time. 
Okay, so once again, I'm done. I'm going to kind of get this together. I'm gonna get my zip tie. I'm gonna push it right in here. Okay. And I'm going to just lock it into place. Okay, right, there's that. Gonna cut off my long tail. Once again, just take this, push this into your wreath. Okay. Now all of this excess, I'm gonna cut off. Okay, you've seen that I kind of have a little tail, which is okay. I want this tail to tuck up inside of my wreath. And actually I probably could have left a little bit longer, but that's okay. Yeah, I cut mine a little too short, <laughs> but that's okay. If you do this, just make leave yours about three or four inches long. That way you can like, tuck it up inside your wreath. Like I said, I'm not done. There's still more to go on. So, all right. Okay, do you see how cute this is already looking? <laughs> Look at that, and we are not finished with this. So, okay, so we got the basis of our candy corn. And you can see I wrapped it so many times you do not see the black. Okay. Like I said, you could spray paint yours white if you wanted, or like I did, just wrap it around a few times. So, okay, this is good and secure. I'm telling you, use pipe cleaners or zip ties. It holds everything into place. Okay, so for right now, I'm just gonna kind of set this to the side. Okay, now to cut all the pieces to add the ruffles to it. What I do is, um, if you watched my scarecrow wreath, then you probably know exactly what I'm talking about. I, this is the stuff that I just use, so I'm gonna finish using this. What I do is I take this, I take a ruler, because I cut my pieces at 12 inches. Other people, they'll do like six inches or eight inches. I do 12 inches, and I use a ruler, and it is so easy. So what I do is I just take my ruler, I place it to the top of my mesh, and now all I do is I hold this in place, I will wrap my mesh around my ruler, and it's gonna give me the perfect 12 inches that I need every time. And all it is is just two cuts versus measuring and cutting every single piece. So I'm just gonna keep wrapping until this runs out. All right, so I've got that. Like I said, this is what I just wrapped around there. So this is just the, the leftover. Okay, so now that I have it wrapped around my, my ruler, I'm just gonna hold this right here. I'm gonna take my good sharp scissors. I'm gonna go inside of the loop right here. I'm just gonna stick it up inside that loop. And now all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull up and just cut straight across, okay? I'm gonna do the exact same thing to the bottom. I'm gonna stick my scissors in this loop right here at the end. I'm gonna pull up and I'm just gonna cut straight across. Okay, and it just cut all that for me. I did not have to measure each single one. It just cut all those right there. So that is like a quick tip. All right, so I did the white. I'm gonna do the exact same thing to the orange and the yellow. Now where I cut mine, you know, the ends, I'm just gonna clean that up a little bit. Okay. All right, once again, I'm just gonna take this, my ruler, I'm gonna stick it to the top edge of my mesh, and then I'm gonna hold this into place, and I'm just gonna wrap it around my ruler. I'm just kind of pinching and just holding on to it and just rolling this around my ruler. Okay, so I use a lot of the orange, so this one's already done. Okay. Once again, I'm gonna stick my scissors in the loop over here on the side, and I'm just gonna cut straight across. Okay, do not worry that it has to be perfect, because it is gonna get a little wonky at times. It's okay, because the way we roll it, you're not even gonna notice it. So, once again, just stick it, your scissors in that loop, and just cut straight across. All right, once again, all of those are cut. 
and they're all the exact same length. All right, see? <laughs> that one's crazy from where I cut it off the candy cord. Okay, so all I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna hold this in my hand and I'm just gonna cut basically straight across. Clean that up. So now, once again, I'm gonna take this, my ruler, and go to the top of it, and I'm just gonna hold, and I'm gonna flip my ruler upside down. And just wrap the mesh all the way around my ruler until it runs out. Okay. All right, I'm gonna stick my scissors in there, and I'm gonna cut straight across. Okay, I'll show you on a brand new row so you can kind of tell. Because those were like just the scraps that was left over from wrapping it around the wreath. So, okay. All right, so here is a fresh brand new row. Okay, I'm going to take this out. My ruler right at the top. See that? Now all I'm going to do, I'm just going to continue to flip my ruler. Okay. All I'm doing is holding that ruler inside there and I'm just flipping the mesh around it. This is the easiest daggone cut. Okay. All I'm doing, just making sure that ruler stays inside there. Okay, so now it's kind of getting down to here. I'm gonna take this and I'm just gonna kind of twist it around for me. Okay, all right, so now I'm done with this row. Cut that off of there. Okay, so you see this big bundle I have right here. You see the loop. All I do is I'm gonna stick my scissors in this loop. I'm just gonna kind of pull up a little bit. See the rollers inside there. And I am just going to cut all of that at once. Just cut straight across. Okay, so there's that. Now I'm going to turn it upside down. I'm going to do the exact same thing to this end. I'm just going to stick my scissors right in this loop. Cut straight across. Okay. And now all of that is cut for me. Okay. All right, so there's all the white. I'm going to do the exact same thing to the orange and to the yellow. All right, my last cuts. Stick my scissors in there. Just cut straight across. Flip that back upside down. Flip that upside down. Okay. The hole where everything is right in the center and just cut straight across. Okay, everything is now cut. That is so fast. And the awesome thing is it leaves you with all these little thick cardboard, cardboard rows. You could save these for a different project. I mean, 4th of July, you can make firecrackers out of these. You, if you're making like a tiered tray or something and you're looking for like a different size riser, something like that, you cut this, make little legs out of it. These are good, these are good to keep. Okay, next step. Take your pipe cleaners. All, right, all you wanna do now is cut your pipe cleaners in half because you do not need these big long pipe cleaners and it will save you some. So just get you some, kind of line them up. Now, I, my good sharp crafting scissors, I do not cut anything wire with. So I'm just gonna take some of the kids' extra school scissors and I'm just gonna kind of eyeball it, basically what I think is the half, and I'm just going to cut them. Okay, so I just cut all of these right here in half. All right, and <laughs> Several longer than the others, but that's okay. All right, so I got those. Give me some more to cut. Just kind of eyeball it and just cut them in half once again. All right. Okay, so I just have me a good little bundle right here. I'm not exactly sure how many I'm gonna need just yet, but I'll let you know. All right, so my long ones, I'm just gonna sit over to the side. I don't need those. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're going to do bundles of two. So you're just kind of mix match colors. You can take like an orange and a white, and then like a white and a yellow, a yellow and an orange. 
Okay, so I'm gonna take just my little orange one right here. What I like to do is, I like to do what I call like the spider crawl. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my mesh, I'm gonna pinch it right there in the center. Just pinch it right at the end, in the center of it. I lay it down, and what I do is I take my fingers and I do like a spider crawl, but I'm pinching it the whole time in my fingers. Okay, so you see as I'm pinching it, and I'm letting my fingers crawl all the way up it, and it's making a cute little bundle. See, it almost makes it like a cute little bow tie. All right, so I'm gonna take that, I'm gonna hold this right there between my thumb and my hand. I'm just gonna hold it there. Now I'm gonna take a white one. Same thing, I'm gonna pinch it right in the center. Just, see there's the end. I'm just gonna pinch it. Just hold that, lay it down, and I'm gonna take my fingers, and I'm just crawling, crawling up it. And once again, it just makes a cute little, like little bow tie. Okay, so take this, I'm gonna lay it right across with the orange. Okay, so it looks like a little pinwheel almost. I'm gonna take my pipe cleaner, I'm gonna go right across. Okay, so I have it like that. Now I'm gonna take this pipe cleaner, I'm just gonna lay it right across there. Just like that, just lay it. Now I'm gonna take it and I'm going to wrap it around. Okay, push that up. See, I'm just kind of push it up in my hand like this. I'm gonna take the little pipe cleaner, give it a couple good tight little twist. Okay, and now I have this pretty little bouquet. Okay, so there's that color. All right, let's do a yellow one, I'll show you. Okay, I want you to see exactly what I'm doing. Okay, so here's the end of my, my little one that I cut right in the center of it, just right the bottom center. This is the bottom center. I'm just gonna pinch it. I'm gonna take my hand and I'm going to pinch and spider crawl all the way up it. Okay, so I'm just letting my fingers pinch and crawl the whole way up. And it gives you, once again, just that cute little bundle. Okay, so I'm gonna take it, I'm gonna stick it right here and I'm gonna pinch and I'm gonna hold it. Okay, so I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna take this orange one right here. Okay, and here's the bottom. All I'm gonna do, okay, I'm just gonna pinch it, right? This is the end. I'm just pinching it right in the center of it. Just pinching, and as I take my fingers, I'm going to crawl and pinch all the way up until I get to the tip, the top. Okay. And then it looks like this pretty little bow tie. Okay, so I'm gonna take these two together, right there. I'm just gonna kinda hold them right here. Okay, once again, I'm gonna get me a pipe cleaner. Okay, see I have these two pinched together. Just put your pipe cleaner right over the middle of them. Okay, take that, push that up like you're closing it, almost like you're making a beautiful flower. See, and then just take this, pinch it, give you a couple good tight twist. All right, just like that. Okay. And what you wanna do is, you just wanna do a bunch of different colors, you know, mixtures, yellow and orange, yellow and white, orange and yellow, orange and white. Okay. So once again, I'm just gonna take this and I'm going to spider crawl all the way to the top to make that. Here's that one. I'll do a white one. Okay. Lay that down. And I'm going to spider crawl all the way to the end. Just keep spider crawling. There we go. Okay, so I'm gonna take these together. Lay them right on top of each other, right in the center. See how pretty that is? my pipe cleaner and I'm just gonna lay it right across the middle of them just like that once again I'm just going to grab it and push that up just make a tight little bouquet it's just pinched take that give me a couple good tight little twist 
Okay, I am just gonna keep making these. I'm just gonna do, you know, mixtures of colors and then we will put it together. So once again, I am just going to spider crawl all the way to the end. Okay, take that, stick it between my, my thumb and my hand. Okay, I'm gonna spider crawl this one all the way to the end. And okay. um, some people just do loops, you know, just kind of do like little rows. Some people just kind of wad it together. I like to do the little, I keep calling it a spider crawl. That's just what I call it. I think it's called a woodland ruffle is like the technical name for it. But <laughs> I just say spider crawl. Just keep doing this. And y'all right now, I am like candy corn obsessed. <laughs> I really am because I actually have a couple like candy corn yeah, candy corn projects for this week. Like there's gonna be a couple other videos of candy corn. So if you like candy corn and wanna decorate with candy corn this year, stay tuned. Make sure that you're subscribed and that you ring the little bell and click all. That way you're notified for anything that I post because I have a couple other, I, I think pretty cool ideas and I, you know, hopefully it turns out right. But, you know, we are going to do it. Okay, I just want to kind of show you again, just so you can remember. Just pinch right in the center at the end. Okay, I'm just going to pinch. And like I said, I just take my fingers and I pinch and I crawl as I go. So I'm just working my fingers, pinching and rolling at the same time. To just make that, like I said, that cute, just little bow tie look. You know, and I just, I just hold mine right there. Once again, I just take the end, I pinch it right in the center at the end, and I just pinch and I crawl. Pinch and spider crawl. All the way up to the end. Just gonna pinch it, lay these two. Okay, and take my pipe cleaner, lay it right across the center. Take it, I push that up, like a little bouquet. Just give it a couple tight twists. Okay, so I got my last little bouquet. Okay, for me, what I do is, I'm gonna go ahead and separate my yellows and oranges into a pile, my orange and whites into another pile, and my yellow and white to a pile. That way I can kind of like grab from each one. Okay, <laughs> so, like I said, I've got mine separated into three different piles of like of different clusters. Like here's my yellow and white, my yellow and orange, and then back here is my orange and white. Okay, so now I'm going to adjust the camera again so you can see exactly what I'm doing because I know you don't need to see this. You want to see this. <laughs> okay, hang on. Okay, I think I got you right. <laughs> All right, what I'm going to do is, here's the front of my wreath right here. Okay. I'm going to start just right, just right here in this curve. I'm going to put my first one right here. I'll show you. Okay, it does not matter which one you start with. I'm just going to grab one with the white because it's right next to the yellow. So I'm going to do the orange and the white for mine. Okay, so I take my pipe cleaner. Okay, this is the front of mine. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to stick my pipe cleaners right around this little curve right here, okay? So I just did that, okay? I'm gonna turn it around so you can see the back side. Okay, so you see, there's the little bar right there against the hat. All I'm gonna do is give this a couple good tight twists. I always do like three or four little tight twists. Okay, and there's my tail. I'm gonna leave my tails for now, and at the very end, I will go back and trim those up. But you turn it around, and here's what we got, okay? So I'm just gonna continue. I'm just gonna kinda work along, okay? We're just gonna do this together, though. So just right next to it, on this same little bar, I'm just gonna put that pipe cleaner in there and take it, I'm gonna wrap it around. Same little bar, same top bar. And I'm just gonna give it some good, tight twist. Okay. See both of those? 
I'm still on this top bar. All right, see how that's looking? All right. Okay, so once again, on the little top bar, I'm just gonna stick this in here. I'm gonna wrap the pipe cleaner around it. I'm gonna give it a couple good, tight twists. Okay, so you see this little bar? Okay, so I've got this one right here. I'm just gonna slide that down. And I'm gonna stick one more right there. So this is my back side. So I'm gonna take this, push that up there. Once again, pull that through. Give me a couple good, tight twist. Okay. So if you notice, I have two right here in this little section. Then there's a little crossbar. Okay, and there's a little crossbar right here. I have two in this little section. See, this is what I'm calling sections, like right here, this thing. So right now I've got two and two. Okay, so now what I do is, now that I've got these two right here, okay, so I'm going to do the inside bar all the way over to this side. I do not put anything at the bottom, and you will see. Okay, so I've got these two right here. In this little spot right here, I'm gonna put two more. I'm gonna take my bundle with my pipe cleaners. I'm gonna go up and I'm gonna push through on the bar. Okay, I'm wrapped around that bar. And once again, I'm just gonna give me a couple good, tight twists. These aren't gonna go anywhere. Okay. Same thing, same little, same little patch. I'm gonna go on that inside bar. I'm gonna wrap my pipe cleaners up through it. Okay. See this bar? They're wrapped around it. Now I'm just gonna give it a couple good tight twist. Okay. And all these tails, don't worry, those will get cut off at the end. Okay, now this little piece right here, it's longer. This is gonna get three bundles. This one will get three. This will get three. This one will get three. And then we're gonna go back and do twos. Okay, and just kind of take them and just, you know, slide them. Slide that over. This one that I just put on, I'm gonna slide over a little bit. That way I can get my third bundle on this bar. Okay, so this is gonna be my third one on this bar right here. Okay, so I now have three on this little bar right here. Now, I'm just gonna put three more on this middle bar. Okay, I'm starting the new bar. I got my three on that one. Now I'm gonna try to drag this one over here. Kind of scoot it towards, bunch it all together. Okay, once again, same old thing. Tight twists. Okay, so I got my three there. Once again, I'm gonna go to this middle inside bar and I'm gonna do three more. I got, my, I got my three on that one. Okay, now I'm back here to the small one. This one's gonna get two. Okay. See that? Once again, go through the front. Push that up through the back. Okay. Tight. Good twist. I'm gonna slide that down my bar. Now, I'm coming back to the top. 
Let me see that way you can see it. Okay. So I finished that. Now I'm going to, this is the top bar. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put three more right here. And that should be done. Three, maybe four. We'll see. Take this one, push it up through there. Okay, so I have two in that little one right there. Now I'm gonna come down to the curve and just put a couple more and then we will be finished with this right here. Okay, so I'm gonna take this one right here. Once again, go through the front, pull through to the back. My tight little twist. Okay, <laughs> now all these little tails that I have, I'm gonna stain these all up. Okay, so now what I do is I cut all of this excess off because I want the back to be just as nice and clean as the front. So what I do is from where I did my twist, like right on top of where my last twist was, I'm just going to clip it, okay? I just kind of clipped off a little bit. Now, that leaves me with this nice, short little tail to where all I do is push that into my wreath and pinch it. See how clean that looks compared to this? So now I'm gonna do the exact same thing to all of these so it's nice and clean looking. Okay. Like I said, just right above where I stopped twisting, just, you know, a little tail. Yeah, I'm just kind of cutting off about that much. Okay. Let me clip all these right here. Okay, do you see? See how short now all those little tails are? So all I do is I take it and I push it down into my wreath. Okay, I just push it down inside of it. And then I take my fingers and I just pinch them down. Okay, same thing. Push that down. Push that one down. I'm gonna push that down. Okay. You see? See how clean that is compared to all this just craziness? <laughs> Alright, I am just gonna do the exact same thing on this whole back side real quick. Just remember when you're cutting to leave you a little tail. You know, don't cut all the way down because then it'll come undone. Okay, that was my last little cuts. Once again, I'm just gonna take my thumb. I'm just pushing it, or finger, whatever, just pushing it down into my wreath just to get everything nice and clean looking. Okay, here's the back side of it. See how clean everything is? You don't see any of the zip ties. All right, let's get ready to turn around. Okay, are you ready? <laughs> Look how cute this is. Oh my goodness, I love it. Now, because it's been laying upside down while we're working on it, all you wanna do is, okay, so now just take your fingers and just fluff it. Just give it some pulls and fluff it. Because those are on there. If you gave those some good tight twists, they're not going anywhere. So you can just fluff this and make it as full as you want it to be. <laughs> it's so pretty. I love this. All right, but we're not done. All right, now for the top. I am going to take one of each color, I believe. So I'm going to take a white, the yellow, and I need an orange. All right, let me roll this one up. Like I said, pinch it in the center, and I just spider crawl it all the way up to the top. Okay, just makes my cute little bow tie. I'm just gonna lay all this right here together. So now I've got all three of them right here in my fingers. I'm just gonna take my half little twist tie. Twist tie. I'm just gonna take half of my little pipe cleaner, 
I'm just gonna lay it across the center of all three of them. To fold that up like a little tight bouquet. Tight, good twist. Look how pretty that little bundle is. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna adjust so you can see. Okay, so this is the front, obviously, the top. Okay, right here. See that? Where the loop is, the hard, the plastic frame. What I'm gonna do now is, I'm gonna take my pipe cleaner, I'm gonna stick it on the inside of that loop. Okay, I'm gonna take my pipe cleaner, I'm gonna push it through all of my mesh, on the very end, okay? Now push it all through that mesh. Okay, turn it back over, okay? So now this, my pipe, pipe cleaners are on the inside and outside of that black bar of the frame, with the very tip of it, okay? All I'm gonna do once again, tight twist. Like I said, three, four, Five good twists. Okay. I'm gonna take my wire cutters again because I like my stuff to be neat all the way around. Okay, so right here was kind of like where my last twist was. Okay, I'm just gonna cut off this little excess piece that I do not need. Okay, I just left that little bitty tail sticking out. I'm just gonna push that down. Kind of push it into the mesh. Okay, okay, see that? Just push it down into it. Just have a nice, clean look. Okay, but do you see how pretty this is? And every single thing is from Dollar Tree. Everything. All right, now, to be able to hang this, what I'm gonna do is, okay, so now for a hanger, you're gonna wanna take a full, long pipe cleaner, and then about right here, you know, this is the very tip top, so it's kind of about right here, you're gonna wanna put your pipe cleaner, and you're gonna put it around that black bar once again, just the frame, the outside frame. You're just gonna work your pipe cleaner through all that mesh. Okay, so see, I just fished it all through that mesh, and I'm pushing it through to the back side around that bar. And the good thing is, this is the white, and I'm using a white pipe cleaner, okay? So, like I said, this is gonna be the door hanger. So just decide how big you want your loop to be. Just kind of make you, make you like an X, hold it, and then just twist, kind of like that X, and just give you some good, tight twist. I'm gonna cut off some of this tail, because like I said, I like mine to be neat looking. So now I just have a little tail. Just kind of push that once again into the wreath. Okay. All right, so now we have a hanger. Okay, but do you see how cute this candy corn wreath is? I love this. This is adorable. And like I said, every single thing is from Dollar Tree. And it looks so cute. Hang this on your door outside. Um, because there's no glue whatsoever. Everything is secure with either a pipe cleaner or a zip tie. So you don't have to worry about the sun melting anything. All right, <laughs> but I love this. And I'm so happy that we just did this together. Um, and like I said, the white. You know, you can't even see the black, but if you wanted, and even just up here, you could like spray paint this whole thing white, paint just up there white, you know, whatever you want. Or like I did, just wrap it a good few times and you don't even see the black. Okay, so I used two orange, two yellow, two white, and I had plenty. I have scraps over there that I haven't even used. Now I will tell you, you want a few more bundles of the yellow and orange versus like the yellow, white, orange, or white. So just do a little bit more of the yellow and orange. So, but I think, <laughs> I think it's so pretty. And I want to tell you, today I ran into Walmart. Walmart had this pick, this whole entire pick right here was 98 cents. 
98 cents at Walmart for this entire thing. So what you could do if you wanted, you could pop you off a candy corn, because you know, it comes off really easy. Just pull that little candy corn off there and you seriously could just hot glue that right in the center. And that would be so cute. That would be like the perfect added little touch. You could hot glue that adorable little candy cane, cane, <laughs> candy corn. You could hot glue that candy corn right there and it would just add a little extra something to it. So, but like I said, this whole entire pick was 98 cents. So cute, and I was shocked at how much you get on this for 98 cents. I mean, less than a dollar. Okay, so like I said, it was two yellow, two orange, two white. I have a total of 24 bundles. So, yeah, there's 24 of these. <laughs> 24 of these is a mixture of the orange and white, yellow and white, and the orange and yellow. Like I said, do a few more orange and yellow than these. Okay, so that's 24 going all the way across. I did not do the bottom. And you see how full this is, and that it's not doing the bottom bar at all. I just did the ends, the middle, and come back to the end. I did not put anything right here at the top, and I did not put anything going across the bottom. Okay, and then we just put one bundle up here. So a total, including the top, is 25 bundles. Okay, <laughs> that's it. I hope that you like this video. Um, if so, you know, like I said, think about subscribing if you haven't already because I have more candy cane, candy cane, I have more candy corn videos coming this week. Um, I'm going to do, I can do, if you want, I can do a scarecrow one just like this. I can do a witch. Of course, I'm gonna do elves. Elves are adorable and wait till you see how they look. <laughs> They're my favorites. But yeah, so there's so many things that we can do with a little witch hat, okay? So if you're out shopping, grab you some witch hats if you haven't already. Get Christmas colors for the deco mesh. Go ahead and get you at least two of every color. Two reds, two greens, two whites. Get multiples if you want, you know, because I'm telling you what, it's cute. You're going to want to make some for friends and family. Okay. <laughs> All right, that's it. Um, okay, so I hope that y'all have a wonderful day. And I'll see y'all next time. Bye, guys. Thanks for watching.